Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the United States. And today we're going to take a quick moment to show you how to update the firmware on your Phantom 3 and your new Phantom 3 controller. Some of you guys, if you've opened up your app and you can't get your app to work, you might need to update your firmware. A new firmware update just came out yesterday. So let's talk about the things that we're going to need to have on hand to get started. First thing you'll need to have is your PC or your Macintosh laptop for downloading the new firmware to your micro SD card. You're going to need to pull out the micro SD card on the side of the gimbal, put that in a card reader, and stick it into the USB slot of your computer. If you have one that's like this, this is a USB style converter. If you have one that came with your mini SD card, if you bought one extra outside of what comes with this one, you should have a little adapter piece that goes for the micro SD card. So slide that in there and put it in your SD port on your computer. We're going to go to DJI.com next. We're going to download the firmware file and we're going to drop it on the micro SD card for the update. And we're going to walk you through that step by step. So up next is step number one. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started with the update process for the firmware on the Phantom 3. We're going to update the aircraft first. So step one is you want to make sure that the intelligent flight battery has at least a 50% charge. We went ahead and charged this one up to the capacity, the full capacity, so that it has plenty of room for when the update is occurring. The next thing you're going to need to have on hand is your mini SD, micro SD card reader. We like the one with the USB because it allows us to stick it in the side of the computer, drop on the firmware, update onto the micro SD card, and then we can take that out and put it in the drone for the firmware update. As well as when we want to update the controller, we can take this USB stick and we can, it can double as a, a USB uh, drive. So we can do the firmware update on the controller as well. So also you'll need to have your laptop on hand. Once you have your laptop set up, go ahead and go to DJI.com and let's get ready to download the firmware update. So one last thing is that we want to make sure there's at least 100 megabytes of free space on the mini SD card. So we'll go ahead and remove that now from the gimbal. We'll stick it in the card reader and we'll go ahead and put that in the USB port of the laptop. Now that we're at the DJI site at dji.com we can go ahead go to products go to phantom 3 series next thing we're going to do is go over here to the right and click on downloads that's right here and then you're going to see the first thing at the very top of the page is going to say firmware if you have a professional make sure you download the zip file for the professional version if you have the advanced version make sure you download it for the advanced do not put more than one bin file, a firmware file, on that mini micro SD card at one time. If you do that, it will cause a problem with the firmware update. So very important that you only have one file on there at a time for the update. So we'll go ahead and click that we want to download the file. And we'll go ahead and wait for that file to download. And then we'll add it to the the micro SD card for the update. Okay guys, now we're moving on to step two. We're gonna prepare the firmware update package for the mini, the micro SD card. So we have the SD card in the computer, in our adapter, uh, and it's ready to go. We have downloaded this package here, the professional firmware edition 1.1.6. We clicked on the zip file and it's downloaded. You're going to open up the zip file and extract that. The file, there will be two files inside that zip file. One will be a PDF on how to update the firmware. The next will be the P3X-FW and then the version of the firmware on there. In this, in this version it's 01 zero one zero 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 six and the name of the file is a dot bin file so grab that dot bin file and drag it over to your mini SD card go ahead and copy that over it says that it's about 39 megabytes 
zipped and around 87 megabytes unzipped. So we know that's under 100 megabytes. Now that's on our card. We're going to go ahead and remove the card from the computer. We're going to take the micro SD card and we're going to put it inside the Phantom 3. We want to make sure that the Phantom 3 is off before we put the SD card in there. So go ahead now, make sure that there's only one file on here as well. That's very important. Uh, you don't want this to have two files on there because it could mess up the update process. Also, the order that we're doing this, we want to do the aircraft first and then we're going to do the transmitter second. So make sure you update the aircraft first, transmitter second. Okay guys, we're ready to do step three. So we have our micro SD card with the update, the firmware update on there. The bin file is on there, it's a single bin file, and we can go ahead and put that back in the drone. Now while the drone is powered off, make sure the battery is out of the drone. Go ahead and put the mini micro SD card in the side of the gimbal. Make sure you take off the, the gimbal clamp as well as the piece of foam on the back side of the gimbal. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that this the transmitter is off. So your transmitter is off, set that to the side. You do not want to turn that on during this update. We're going to go ahead, put the battery in, and we're going to start the process. Once we turn on the drone, it's going to do a series of beeps. So you're going to hear a series of beeps coming from the gimbal. That'll sound like deet, 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 deet. Next, this process is going to take around 25 to 30 minutes to complete the firmware update. After it's finished, you'll hear a D, 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 after it finishes. So that will tell you that it's done. And once we're done, we're going to go ahead and we'll be able to fire up the copter. But we won't, we, well, excuse me, we'll be able to turn off the copter. So next, we're going to go ahead and turn it on, push the battery in, and go ahead and turn on the copter. Also, make sure you remove the props while you're doing any firmware updates indoors. And now you can hear it start to beep. The gimbal's initialized. And this process will short, shortly start. Now you hear the beep. Now the process has started and we'll see you in about 25 minutes. One thing we wanted to show you really quickly, on the front of the gimbal, you can see that it is an active firmware update by the LED on the front of the gimbal. It is flashing red and green. And you also do hear the DDDD four beeps at a time. When it's complete, it will do the DDD at the very end. And then we're safe to power down the Phantom. After your firmware update is complete, this is the noise that you should hear. Now it's going to be safe to power cycle your drone, so that means turning off your Phantom and turning it back on. But for now, we're just going to turn it off. We're going to remove the SD card, the micro SD card, and we're going to put it back in the computer and we're going to check out the log file to see if the update was successful. With this beeping sound that we hear, this deet, 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 this should be a successful update. So we're going to check that out now. Okay guys, now we took the micro SD card, we put it back in our card reader and we put it in the laptop. So we, now we see that there is a P3X FW result ab.txt file in here. You'll double click on that and open that up. And it does look like it was a success. So let's move these windows. We'll, we'll show you that real quick. So the firmware upgrade was a success. 
If you see that, you're good to go. Next up, we're going to update the transmitter. Okay guys, now we're going to update the remote control firmware. We have our micro SD card. One of the things you want to do is remove that automatically generated text file that was added to the micro SD card after you updated your aircraft firmware. So we have trashed that off the card. Now we have a clean bin file on there. We're going to use the same exact update firmware update file to update our transmitter. So the next thing you're going to do is since we have this handy dandy USB micro SD card reader, we're going to go ahead and stick that in the USB slot, making sure that the power is off. You also want to make sure that you have at least 50% of the battery life on the transmitter before you begin this update. So everything should be good to go. We also want to make sure that we don't after we generate a text file that it's completed the firmware upgrade, if you're doing multiple controllers, you want to make sure that you remove those automatically generated text files before you update a new controller. Uh, we don't want that messing up the firmware process. So what we're going to do is, now that we have it in there, we're going to go ahead and turn on the controller. Pressing once and holding two seconds. Now it's going to power up. We're going to wait approximately 60 seconds for this upgrade to start. During this process, do not turn off the controller. If you can turn off the controller during this update, you can cause major problems with your firmware on the controller. You might be able to possibly rewrite it. If not, you might have to send it back to the manufacturer. So it's going to beep for approximately 10 minutes during this process. So let it go ahead and do its thing and beep. We'll show you the front of the transmitter. It does have a blue LED on the front to indicate the firmware is being updated. When the firmware process is completed, we'll see a green light appear here on the front of the transmitter. The beeping sound will stop when it's done. At the end of this process, if, if it shows red at any time here, right now we have green, if it did show red, it will have failed the, up, the firmware update process. So now we see a green light there. We know that it is good to go. It didn't take 10 minutes like the, the firmware PDF said from DJI.com. Uh, however, that was pretty quick. So we're pretty happy with that. Now that we have our, our transmitter updated and the aircraft updated, we can move on to going outdoors and flying with our app. One last thing guys, we took the card back out of the transmitter and now we put it back into the PC and we opened it up. We see two new files here on the micro SD card. One is a log file that will tell you that the upgrade was a success um, and this is the RC log. This is for the remote control log. We can close that. There's also a secondary file in here. That's the P3FW result GS text, and that is the official file that will show you that it was indeed upgrading and it was a success. So we see there on the screen that it definitely was a success. So that's good. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove those two files that were on there, these TXT files. We're going to drop those in the trash and leave just the bin file on that micro SD card. Now, make sure that when you add this bin file also that you don't put it inside your fo a photos folder because that will definitely not upgrade the, the firmware on your copter or on your transmitter. And now we can stick this back in the Phantom. When the Phantom power cycles and starts back up, it's gonna automatically update the, f the, the battery 
that's in the copter. So go ahead and leave this bin file there. If you have multiple batteries, you can leave this there. And when you put those new batteries in that haven't been updated, the latest firmware will be updated. One last tip for you guys. Now that you have your micro SD card back in the drone and you turn everything on, if you notice that your transmitter has a red LED light in the front of it, it means that your transmitter is no longer bound. This can occur after a firmware update on the transmitter that it cannot be linked up with the drone. Uh, you should see a green light back here underneath the sonar. This will indicate that it is linked up. We do see a green light on the transmitter, so now we're good to go. It is linked up. Now, if this is red, you're gonna to need to rebind your transmitter, and the way you do that is you take a pin or some type of object that you can push in on this second light here, or the second, excuse me, the second uh, button here that will actually rebind your transmitter. So we'll do another video to show you guys how to do that shortly. So that's it. Thanks again for watching the Drone Camps RC channel. I'm Justin Davis and hopefully that helped you guys learn how to update your transmitter and your Phantom 3. If you have any questions, you can always give us a call here at the store and we can help you out with your, your DJI products. Go ahead and don't forget to take your micro SD card and put it back in your gimbal before you fire up your Phantom the next time so that your batteries can update as well appropriately when it starts back up. So remember, if you're doing extra batteries, just go ahead and leave that .bin file on there on the SD card and you should be good to go with your other batteries. They'll get the firmware update as well. So that's it. That's it guys. Happy flying. Thanks again for hanging out with us at the Drone Camp store. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. Please click subscribe.